this team is being fractured down the middle. You're on that side. There's going to be a fight tonight in the pits. Can you get a check on the lap record? I might have a shot. I'm going to go for it tonight. Just want you to set some rules here, Steve, like when we're in the pits. I'm going to have the same game, so right. Basically, at this stage in my career, I, I don't want to sound arrogant, but I'm probably possibly the most successful sprint car driver here at the track, if not Australia, if not the world. So I've seen Days of Thunder, and that's basically what I'm basing my entire knowledge of race car driving on. I don't know anything about cars. Well, he's our pit crew boss. <laughs> Where's the flux capacitor? You're hitting that. We've got a mariachi band, a tequila bar. Just gonna take it easy. Cheerleaders, All that and a driver, and a fundraising night. And then on that back straight, fuck, I'll give it some. And some good ideas, but we don't have shit. You know, when you go to a motor racing event, whether it be here at the Speedway or Packers uh, or anywhere, when you're in the crowd, you never. You never actually uh, consciously think about or question the ability or the knowledge of the driver behind the wheel. You just assume that the driver's out there and he's good enough and can handle the company that he's in. <laughs> Can't even get out of the bus. Yeah. Little do the people know in the stands tonight that when they see car number 79, it may as well be being driven by Leica, the Russian space dog, as opposed to anyone who's got any chance of, uh, of winning this race. Ready to race.